All right, we've got the carcass uh, for the reloading bench unclamped and standing back upright and the shop pretty much back in order. I've got it sitting on a rubber mat so the bottoms don't get dinged up. So you can kind of get some idea of the profile. So there'll be a lot of storage up top and hopefully in the bottom too. So the next thing I've done is taken some measurements and written them in appropriate places for the different pieces we're going to be making. And I think the next thing we're going to do is make a 42 and a quarter inch brace for the top connecting the two top corners. Alright, so I did find a dimension that's out a little bit, which would happen to be from this corner to this corner on the outside. So it looks like it's actually in about a quarter, so we're going to attach a brace, display that, and while we're up here, attach a little sliver to the top of the backing plywood, which will do a couple things. It'll bring it up to the same height as this for when we put a top on, and it also covers the plywood, which I got to have it first. Done. And we're going to cheat. Normally, I don't use uh, metal outside of hinges and knobs and that kind of thing, hardware. However, in this case, rather than come up with some fancy gluing and clamping solution, I'm just going to shoot some wire nails in either end. Okay, and move my ladder over. And we'll splay this, put it where I want it. Good. Now for the back, I use uh, edge clamps. They're kind of like C clamps, except they've got this little piece there that'll hold uh, the strip on. So. Let me give that a good gluing. And then we can clamp it on. Okay, that'll do it. So, we'll need to let that dry. And that's another piece of the carcass to put together. close up of what's going on there. Alrighty. Okay, I've drawn some lines on the inside where you see the faint pencil mark where the top of the workspace above that I'll have a storage area and also down below. The next thing I'll need to do is work on the carcass infrastructure a little bit and put in some uh, supports for uh, the top area would probably be the best starting point and the bottom area as well for the uh, shelves up top and the work surface on the bottom so let's see what kind of wood I come up with well I decided the next thing we're going to do is I need really need some overall dimensions uh, to work with some pieces, putting them uh, some supports in. So I'm going to add a quarter of an inch to the depth by facing 
the plywood with some alder. So the next thing we're going to do is uh, put those on. I've taken an alder, piece of alder, kind of the ugliest piece because we bought a bunch for kitchen cabinets and uh, since I'm using really the ends as opposed to the say the width of the board uh, it's not so bad. So I've used all my edge clamps up there so what I'll have to do is come up with something slick to clamp them down and I've already I know what I'm going to do. Strips for the top pieces of the carcass. So probably won't be able to attach them all. That's why I just did the tops because I'm going to run out of clamps. So let's see how far we get. Let's glue that piece on. There we go. Now I can put this one on. Unfortunately I'll need an additional clamp for it which is precious. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put a clamp on the bottom and then uh, work my way up, see what happens. So, get some glue on here. exactly where I want it. Let's get the clamp on there before it decides to do weird stuff. Okay. With the rest of it here. That's going to work out nice. All I need is more clamps. I'm going to have to use some that are a little bit longer than anticipated, but better too long than too short. Let's see, I'm going to put them this way just to be consistent. Good. Okay. One more at the top. You get some excess glue off that's squeezed out. Having your glue squeeze out is a good thing. Unless it's way too much. But in this case, just a little bit which is good. Shows us we've got good surface area. You want to tap that over just a hair. So my edge is perfect. Okay, good. So we'll have to let that cook. We're pretty much out of clamps. I can't do the bottom until I get some clamps freed up. So, anybody that wants to donate some clamps, please do so. Feel free to. And until then, which is going to be tomorrow, until I get clamps freed up, that's kind of where we're at. So, Join us again tomorrow. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss what's going on here. Leave a comment. Hit the like button. And we'll see you again tomorrow.